Hello and welcome back to another video of Kelpner. So today's video is not going to be with my TI-83, um, but it is going to be with the TI-85 that I have. Um, so it's going to be a Pong program for the TI-85 that is very similar to the one that I've made on my TI-83+. Plus. Um, and it, it only has one paddle, so if you would like two paddles, um, just let me know in the comments and I can uh, provide you with the code to make two paddles because it is fairly difficult to play with one paddle, but it's kind of a challenge, so it's also kind of fun at the same time. So I hope you do enjoy the rest of the video, and uh, thanks for uh, checking out my channel. Okay, so now we're going to go to Program uh, and Names, and we're going to Execute Pong. So as you can see, the ball is going and the paddle is also going, and I missed by a lot there. Um, so there the ball ricochets off all the sides, and there I actually hit it for once. Um, so yeah, it's basically just like the classic game of Pong. Unfortunately, you cannot put spin on the ball because that would take uh, a considerable amount uh, more of programming. And uh, also it would slow the game down quite a bit uh, to try to figure that out. This is actually probably the best streak I've ever been on, uh, honestly. And there I finally missed one. And it might look like that. Wait, you should have hit it but it's actually going up one more. Um, so I just didn't quite click the key and it doesn't do like you could say the last frame of the game. So it just does it and it doesn't output it because it already has checked. Oh, there's nothing there, so I don't need to output it. So yeah, that is the premise of Pong. So it's just a really fun game and you try to uh, get as high of a score as you can. So uh, yeah, now I'll show you the code so you can make this on your own TI-85. Okay, so I'm gonna click the program button right here, and that'll take me to this menu, uh, names or edit. So I'm gonna go into edit and Pong. You would just name uh, Pong right here. So you would use the letter keys. Uh, it already has alpha, so you just click uh, the PO and then NG, and you'd get Pong. And then, so I'm just going to get right into it. Um, so it would look like this. You click enter, and it would just be a blank screen. Um, right now for you because you do not have uh, the program made yet and that is what you're going to uh, do right here So uh, as you can see at the bottom of the screen that is the stuff that you use to program So for example, I want output so that is in the IO tab Don't worry if you don't know where everything is uh, Most stuff is going to be in the IO or control tab pretty much everything in this program um, If you can't find something you click second and catalog and that'll take you to a list uh, in numerical order, or sorry, in alphabetical order um, of all the commands on the calculator. So let's say I want something in the use. So I click U and it will take me to all the stuff in the use, which is not uh, very much stuff as you can see. So I'm just gonna click exit to get out of that. Um, so as you can see, the first command is clear LCD. Uh, that is like the equivalent of clear home. So let's say you want that command. I believe that is in the control tab. So I uh, clicked into the control tab and as you can see, oh, it's not there. Well, I have to click more to get more uh, commands. So I'm gonna click it one more time and uh, I still do not see it. Okay, it's not there. It must be in the IO tab. So now to get over to the IO tab, I click second and F3 because that is the second uh, function of that button. So then I click more and clear LCD is actually in the IO tab. Um, so if you need that, it is in the IO tab and you click F3 to get that as you can see. And it, uh, I already had one, so it basically didn't change that much. Okay, so I'm gonna click exit now. So you can see a little bit more of the screen. So clear LCD is just like clear home. Uh, it's just a little bit older OS on the TI-85. So it's just like that, and it's just named a little bit differently. Okay, four store into Y and 15 store into X, one store into S and one store into T. Rand times eight store into A, and I part of A plus one store into A. Basically what that is, is the random number generator that I uh, figured out how to do, uh, because there is no Rand int command on the TI-85, you kind of just have to make up your own. And so that is the code that I did to make up a random number generator. So this will generate uh, random numbers between one and eight is what it will do because that is the Y position of the ball is what I'm uh, generating for. 
So repeat until k is equal to 45 or x is equal to 1 and a is not equal to y. So repeat until you click the clear button or the ball is at 1 and the paddle is not equal to the y position of the ball. So if your paddle is at the y position now of the ball, you're okay. But if it's down here and the ball is up here, then it's going to be like, okay, uh, I have to end the program now because uh, the condition is met. Okay, so remember the equal to equal to, it may seem like, okay, I just click alpha and store and I do that twice. Do not do that. Um, it is actually not that. You click second and two, which takes you into the test menu. And as you can see right here, there is an equal to equal to. So you click uh, F1 to get you that equal to equal to, uh, which is the equivalent of an equal to, uh, which is what I'm going to just say it like K is equal to 45. Just know that I mean that you need the two in the test menu. And then the A is not equal to Y. Um, you also find the not equal to in that menu. So you click second and the test button. And then you click more and the not equal to will be the first option after you click more. Okay, so now get key store into K and I have clear LCD again uh, because that is what erases all the stuff because uh, it's one of the fastest ways uh, to do it because I'm outputting both things right after it. It uh, still gives the effect that it looks good. So now output at a comma x comma quote o and you don't have to put the second quote after it. It actually adds it uh, when you run the program, which I find kind of interesting. Um, so um, it doesn't save a byte uh, to weave that off, um, but it always adds it anyways. So if you don't add it, uh, it will add it for you. And then output at y comma one comma the paddle, uh, which is a bracket. Um, to find that bracket, you would, I believe, it's actually not second on this, or yes, it is, never mind. It is second and the parentheses, which is uh, not quite the same as it is on the TRD3. I believe it is either, I think it's the minus key on the TRD3. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit different to find some of the keys. So just be careful um, when you're putting that in. Min eight comma max one comma y plus k is equal to 34. And then remember there is parentheses around that because it is using Boolean logic. Uh, minus k is equal to 25, store into y. S multiplied by a is greater than one and a is less than eight, plus a is equal to one, minus a is equal to eight, store into s. T multiplied by x is greater than one and x is less than 21, plus x is equal to one, minus x is equal to 21, store into t x plus t store into x and a plus s store into a end and that is the whole entire program for you to be able to play pong on your ti-85 it's a fairly simple program if you have any questions remember you can leave them in the comment i will be happy to answer that and remember if you want two paddles i can also provide the code for that um, just let me know in the comments and i will probably just put it in the description for you so as you can see, I'm back here with my TI-83. I actually have kind of like a little challenge for you. Um, so I have this program where if you move, uh, a little person appears and they, it's uh, supposed to be like a shield. So whatever direction you move, it has the shield. So that is all I have in this program. Um, so the challenge for you is to come up with an idea of like a game that I could implement this into. So if you have any ideas, leave them down in the comments. And uh, one of my next videos, I will put one of your ideas into action in this program. And uh, I'll even name it after you. Uh, so I hope you did enjoy today's video. Remember, if you have any ideas on what to do with this, leave them down in the comments below. And I'd be happy uh, to try to make one of them. So uh, thank you for watching as always. And I'll see you in the next one.